everyone. Welcome to Handicrafts A to Z website and YouTube channel. We're back from the summer house and back to the workshop and we're gonna start weaving carpets. Today I was I went for shopping so you see I bought some yarn. This is the threads that I will be using for knots. As you can see there's a difference, slight difference. As I told you in the previous video, the two types of thread that we use. As you can see, this one is untwisted. This one is slightly twisted. Anyway, they're both great for for knots. And this is the warp. It comes with skins like this. And this one is a 15 ply that will make density about 45-50 knots per 10 centimeters to approximately 4 inches. So today we're going to spin it into proper, proper skeins that will be later used in the carpet within because since you cannot obviously work from stuff like this has to be spinning in the special skins. Okay, so we're ready to start spinning the uh, wool, carpet wool into skins like this. Why do we make it like this? Is just when we place the yarn on the loom, it should be right above our head and we spin it into like apple shaped skins, balls with a little tail hanging outside and we join a bit of the warp thread leftovers I usually leave about 30 centimeters of warp and tie a knot over here and then it can be easily attached to the, to the loom so it will be hanging above our head and all you have to do is pull the thread and start making the knot. And today we're gonna do the skins like this. Different colors. It's actually, I'm already preparing the wool for the carpet. I'm, I'm gonna start the next week. So you might just subscribe and see how the process is doing. Okay, to start with this little tail, we do if you grab the yarn and place the little tail between your small and the fingers, between two fingers, and you start wrapping the yarn between your thumb and the small finger in kind of eight shape. So it goes from like this over here and backwards. Here. So the end is already secured inside and we work like this until the tail is about one centimeter thick. So just three or four more. This yarn is slightly thinner than I'm usually working with. It's a New color, it has just arrived to our market and apparently it's a little bit thinner so I might as well work with the three threads instead of two let's see how it goes that's it okay, now we can remove it as you can see the eight the bigger tail goes to the to the top and the smaller one goes here. And now we we'll start leaving about two centimeters of the, the edge and start wrapping the yarn. About one and a half centimeter wide. This is just securing 
now we have the base that we are working di in diagonal directions like this make three or four spin twists wraps and turn around like this as you can see the thread goes and within a couple of minutes you'll see how the future skin is shaped once you do that it will be very easy so it's just a second give me some extra yarn here and so it goes like this it might take about 20 minutes to make a skin like this this is probably the size that I the most comfortable so it's about three to three and a half inches in diameter this way you can show if you work on in two or three directions like you have normally if you make a big carpet so the three or four people working on it so everyone got exactly the same amount of yarn from the same skein and you don't mix the colors see if you one, one side of the carpet is using one shade the other one is one side or another so generally if you buy the thread for carpets make sure you buy at least one kilo of each it depends on the pattern that you use usually on the pattern that says the percentage of colors that is, is used for knots So based on that, you can count it. Generally, one skein of yarn that I just showed you is about half a kilo. But sometimes they make it smaller, it's about 200 grams. And you can make about two or three skeins from half a kilo. As you can see, the future bowl is already there. It's got nice square shape so that's how it goes generally this is how you make it you make five to six twists around in one position and turn the ball, make another five or six, and continue like this. Until you can hardly keep it in your hands. This is generally it. how you shape it, how you measure. So once you, it's hard for you to spin, Cut the thread and set it aside to start a new one. That's for the wool. And we're going to look at the warp and weft thread in a second. Okay, and here is the warp. I've used the 15 ply, as you can see, the very tiny cotton threads. And this is a 15 ply that would give us the density of about. 48 to 50 knots per 10 centimeters and the only thing that you have to do is spin it in, into normal ball you can use a uh, spinning spinner because this thread is generally used to warp the, the loom and the, the way you find it comfortable the way you make it and the third Spin that we use is for the weft thread, and this one is a bit tricky one. Okay, so here's the weft thread, and as I said before, we use two types of weft. The white one it actually fixes the knots, 
we lay it first and then on top of that we place the blue or sometimes it's yellow, yellow uh, red or purple and it's pinned into as we call them carrots because it's a, it's a handmade shuttle made of thread and I'm gonna show you how to make it now so this is the wet thread you can see it comes very thick skin so I have to find this parent it's somewhere in here well it was a second ago and it's been okay there it is so let me place it you might want to use the assisting devices but I generally use the two chairs and I place it on the chair and work work as it goes and again just like with the wool thread we start with this endless eight and make this eight and it should be about half a centimeter thick it's a quarter quarter of an inch it should be like this and we start wrapping the edge once we got the edge secured we pull about 30 centimeters of wet make another three four wraps again 30 centimeters and another three four twists around the the shuttle and so it goes so by the time you finish you will have a carriage shape shuttle so when you work on the on the carpet you lay the weft inside the warp and you slide in your lease this wraps just as as long as you require it And you don't get get extra threads hanging around. You can see you might even want to make some wraps around here, just to keep the steps smooth. My work got stuck inside my chairs. That's, that's how it goes. And you want to make it like this long, wrapping over the warps over here. Finally, get the sausage of the carrot like this. So that would, would take you about another half an hour. So generally, for the small carpet, you might want to have uh, about ten uh, skins like this, ten skins like this. You can see the shape. It's, it should be shouldn't be bigger than your thumb. Otherwise, it will be difficult to get inside the warp and your wraps might come off so if you're ready in the next tutorial on the next Thursday I'm gonna show you how to work with the loom explain how the loom is made and how it's worked 
and hopefully next week we're gonna start warping the loom. Stay tuned, so subscribe, leave your comments and I will give you all the answers in the, either in the comments or make another video that will explain you all the points that you might, might be missing. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next Thursday. Bye.